welcome to the second uh, Flashfire three pack blister, uh, yeah, three pack blister pack thingy. This time we have the uh, Machamp promo hollow alternate thingy. Uh, so I'll just skip ahead to like opening it because if you want any more views of the packages, uh, packaging and stuff, go back to part one where I look at it a bit more. So I'm just going to open this up and I'll be right back. Right, I am back. I've opened up the back of it, which takes an age now because they've gone with more minimalist packaging, which environmentally speaking is a good idea, but I, I yeah, I, I personally do not appreciate it as much as possibly the environmentalists. Now, the card that comes with this, uh, as with the Haxorus one, is an alternate hollow edition of the Plasma Blast card. This one being a match amp that I've actually never actually seen. Despite having pulled, I think, four rare match amps, never actually seen the hollow match amp, and I do like this artwork. He looks a bit cuter than normal, which is weird, but equally, I really fucking love match amp. He shouldn't, so, look, he shouldn't look cute, he should look kick-ass. Yeah, it, 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 is a, it is a bit odd that he's... It's a bit jarring. Yeah, he's kind of drawn in a chibi style there, but whatever, he's got an ability and stuff, if you want to pause to read that. Hollow's pretty nice. It's, it's your standard sort of hollow background stuff. He seems to be using a corkscrew punch or something, which is cool. Uh, right, but that's not the reason you're watching this, probably. You're watching it for the pack openings. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go on and look at another coin! Yay! Uh, Fennekin this time. Even better! Woo. Fennekin's quite an adorable little fox thingy. Uh, thingy? It, well, it's... It it's well it's a fe it's based on the Fennec fox which gives it its name Fennekin. Doesn't mean it's we call it a thingy. Oh, yes, um, that's the coin. It's slightly oh, no no it's as shiny as the chestpin one I got just now. Uh, right and as you can see in the background, Pichu's evolved from the last video. <laughs> this time, so we have the pack artwork again of Mega Kangaskhan and Pyro, but now we also have Mega Charizard Y. Which is cool. Um, so it means I have all four pack designs, which is good. Um, as with before, I'm going to start with my least favourite going to my favourite. Hopefully this one will have some pretty good pulls. If you want to know exactly what I pulled in the last one, uh, go back to the video. Uh, hint though, they weren't great. Yes, it's, it's maybe worth watching the video if you want to know what the set is like. Oh, I opened that pack really well, actually. Also, this is the code card if it interests any of you. It's not particularly flashy and sort of... I collect them, but... Uh, right. You might have got their quarter there, you're like, here's the code card. I'm not sure what the code <laughs> is. Oh yeah, no, definitely the code. It's just the uh, card with the code on it. <laughs> sorry to dash the dreams of some of you viewers, but I'm not going to give you the codes yet, anyway. Uh, right, we have another Sneasel. That's cool. A Litleo. I'm actually thinking of it, the artwork isn't as brilliant as I thought it was. It looks very 3D and polished and stuff. A spritzy. Oh, yay! We have an Esper. He's seen some shit. Look into the eyes of that Esper. I've it was... seen things. He is terrified to be here! <laughs> no, anyway, uh, let's move on before we traumatise Esper anymore. <laughs> What is that camera thing? We is? have another uh, Bunnery. Oh yeah! We have a Luxio! Nice. All I need now is a Luxray. This line is one of my favourite lines. Also love electric Pokemon, so... Uh, that's that's cool. We have Electric Hunter is one of his moves, which sounds glorious. Oh, we have a Floet. Also realised I called the Flaybaby card from the first pack a Floet in part one. I apologise uh, for that profusely. Oh, we have a protection cube. Uh, prevent all damage done to the Pokemon this card's attached to, uh, to by attacks it uses. So I'm guessing if your opponent has the same Pokemon, it can't be damaged. That's, that's pretty cool. We have a reverse Krokorok. It's pretty cool. Never been a big fan of reverse darks. You probably know that if you see my other videos. But um, it's, it's okay, this is slightly shinier than the other ones. You see the dark symbol if you look carefully. 
And we have a Floatzel rare. Which isn't bad, quite like Floatzel. You know, not, not, not the best Pokemon ever, but that's pretty cool. I, I so far have not pulled a Hollow yet. Which is something I'd like to change with the other two packs, but there's no guarantee. On to Mega Charizard Y's pack. And we have a Cricket Top. <laughs> the Cricket Tune. I'll be right back. And I am back. Sorry about that. That was a text. And I had to make sure that the Cricket Tune was well looked after. Uh, so nice you got Yeah. Yes. Uh, cricket Top, Cricket Tune. The only difference is a Cricket Tune. It takes slightly less to die immediately. Uh, slightly more to die immediately, rather. <laughs> It has that extra tiny boost in HP that makes it slightly less useless than its pre-evolution. Just slightly, though. Right. Let's be... Oh, yes! Starting with a Goomy! Oh. Look at that cute little slimy creature! Also rendered in, like, 3D, which doesn't help it much, but... Whatever. I like the Gudra line, even if it's got... Oh, cool! We got the second Litleo card. Uh, so two designs of Litleo here. Maybe hoping for two designs of Pyro. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet you're waiting for it. Uh, yeah, there's probably a non-hollow and a hollow Pyro. If uh... Oh, we have a Centret. Cool, that completes the Furret line. Not that it was something I was aiming for, but wherever. Helioptile. That's cool. Uh, destructive Beam. Imagine most Beams from Pokemon are pretty destructive, but wherever. We have a Flabebe. That's okay. I wonder if there are different card designs, because... You get the different flower colours with Flowebees and Flowettes. Uh, we have a Flowette right after it with the same flower designs, probably just red Flowettes and stuff. <laughs> we have Sacred Ash. Again. We have another Mill Tank. We have a Reverse Veal. Uh, it actually looks kind of icy in this thing, which is appropriate for Sveal. And we have a Flowette. Again, I guess this is a rare Floette. That's fine. That's that's cool. I have all Floettes. And that's, this was a very Flababy slash Floette heavy pack there. Right. On to the last pack. Will I get a Hollow? Doubtful. No. That's, that, that, that's the short answer. I'm, I'm not actually going to get anything here. But I thank any of you watching it this far because... You know, it, it means a lot to me that people actually watch stuff I do because it means that, you know, inviting Glyn all the way up to where I live <laughs> isn't just pointless. Like, hey, Glyn, let me show you some decently okay cards. Good, now go home. <laughs> not that that's, you know, I'm not quite that heartless. I like to think, uh, you know. Right. Are we ready for another Goomy? I am happy with that because look at him, he's so adorable! Also, interesting fact, when a Goomy's attack is po attacked is powered by a fairy energy. He's a dragon, guys! He does not play well with fairy energies. Okay, well done, Nintendo. Ooh, we have a Roselia. That looks like it's flying. Oh wait, no, no, it is dancing because his legs are planted firmly on the ground. We ha Oh, nice, a Duskull! It's a cool looking Duskull, yo. Sneaky placement. Which is uh, where I get when I get interviews for a job. <laughs> Centre it. You've already had that. Oh, Feebas. Yay, you're here. That's. You're a card. Uh, is there a triangle? Ah. Never noticed this before. But he has like a little triangle, uh, uh, inverted triangle thing as his fin. It's like a hole in the middle. Surely that would get in the way of like aerodynamic aerodynamicism in the water. I don't know. Anyway, we have a Maractus. Maractus was a Pokemon I never really liked. I mean, because Cactua and Cactuin were the really cool cactus Pokemon. Oh, we have another Luxio. That's cool. Ooh, we have Blacksmith. What does he do? Attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your fire Pokemon. Oh, nice. That's really good, actually. <coughs> that would benefit my day. I have never seen this man before, but what is... Surely they could have thought of, like, oh, that, that fire woman from the Elite Four. She... Why did... Blacksmiths aren't in the game, guys. There we are. We have a reverse Roselia. I'm okay with this. 
And we have a Pidgeot to end it on. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's That's a pretty cool artwork of Pidgeot, actually. He looks angry and fast. Which is two things I like to think of when I see Pidgeot. Uh, there was the attacks and stuff. Well, thank you very much for watching uh, both of these thingies. I may be opening some more Flash Fires soon as, like, I'd like a hollow and stuff at some point. He's desperate. Yes, I'm completely desperate for them. Uh, no, I'm not. But thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.